Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our abstract thesis series where we are digging deep into the concept to learn how things work in Power BI. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for the new videos. In this video, what we are going to do, we are going to discuss what happens if we rename certain column at source, what is the impact? Is it case sensitive or not? That is also we are going to look at it. So let's open the Excel sheet first of all what we have and try to rename a column. Before that, let's refresh the Power BI file to see are we able to get all the data or not. So we are refreshing and as you can see, we are able to get all the data. So now let's go to the Excel sheet. Now in Excel sheet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one as a capital letter. So I made this as a capital letter. I'll go ahead and now save this. Let me go back to my Power BI and try to refresh it. Or I can do one thing. I can simply refresh this one particular table. So if I right click, I, I have this refresh data option and you can see we have error. Okay. So now we know where to go. We need to go to transform data. Inside the transform data, once it's open, we will see this error already coming it out here. And let's right click here and click on advanced editor. Now in the advanced editor, we know this is the last column. So here we, we will go ahead and do the change. And we are done with our change. As soon as we have done the change, you can see that error has gone. We still say close and apply. And as you can see, the data has changed. Now what we are going to do is next is we are going to completely rename a column. We are going to rename it differently and see what happens. So again, I'm going to go back to the Excel sheet and instead of discount percent, I'm going to call it as disk per. Okay. Um, so cases are almost similar, but the name has been changed, but it's going to have similar kind of error, but let's go ahead and look at it. Okay. Now, in this case, let's again go back and refresh the single table. I don't want to load unnecessarily the other table. So I'm going to say, and this time I'm using this from the data view. So again, discount percentage is not found. So what I'm going to do is now what I'm going to do here. Now there could be more than one column names, which has changed. I, I might not be aware what name it is. So I need to find it out and to find it out. What I need to do is I need to get the table back and get the script. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is this time, I'm not going to go ahead and simply rename it because I'm not aware exactly what case it is and what name it is. So I'm going to re-import that file and preferably as I told you in the past also, preferably import this as a new file. So what I need to do here is I need to go back to the, my source again and I'm going to re-import the file. And when I'm re-importing, I'm only going to re-import that one particular sales table. And though I can check out the name here, but uh, just for showing you the complete flow, what I'm going to do out here is I'm going to load this one. And this is going to load the complete uh, data. And you can see that there are two tables, which is uh, failing now. Uh, and this is failing because the sales table is failing out. Okay. So let's close it. And it's not loading. So what we are going to do, we have to go to the transform data only. But in spite of that load, we actually got the sales table too. Okay. Now we go to the proper advanced editor and here we can go ahead and see the names. Now we may or may not be aware of how many columns have changed, but we know this table is loaded successfully and the change type is the column where I can actually go ahead and see. And please remember uh, if there are certain transformation after that, I need to just be careful while I'm changing it here. So I go here and I click advanced editor in the sales table and I go ahead and change this. I say control V and I say done. And you can see the error has gone. I say close and apply. And as you can see, both the tables have loaded successfully. I can go ahead and see the name out here is disk percentage. Okay. 
and I got another table also sales two. So as you can see that you know if the columns have been renamed or multiple columns could have been renamed, you know what need to be done. So the answer lies in Power Query. You have to go to the transform data mode, of previously also known as Edit Query mode, and do the changes out there. You can actually take like I have taken this file, which is the same file I tried to load, and I again faced error. But if you load it into a different PBIX, you will not face that error, and then simply you can get all the new column names and use that. Okay, so go ahead and try this out. In case you face some issues where you have some this renaming of column and all those and you would like to do those changes, this will help you out. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.